And now, Storm Tracker Weather with meteorologist Eric Ash. For today and the next couple of days, high pressure dominates, and what that means is moisture will skirt along the north of us, and that does have the possibility to create some showers and or some rumbles of thunder for the northern and western portion of the central mountains. So that's for the next couple of days and clearing our skies as well. Mostly sun, mostly sun giving us a warming trend. Warming trend continues into the weekend. Flood warning for the Portneuf River until a further notice. This is affecting Sacagawea Park and also becoming bankful at the Topaz area and Lava Hot Springs. Also, also creating Creating flooding conditions for agricultural property around Black Rock and also flooding where it meets the Marsh Creek in the Income area. Winds forecasted for today stronger than yesterday, 8 to 20 miles per hour, gusts up to 20 miles per hour. Snake River Plain temperatures were in the 60s now, Pocatello 65, Idaho Falls 64, along with Black foot along with Blackfoot 64 degrees is the high southeast highlands mostly sun temperatures in the 50s and 60s and then for the central mountains we do have that chance of some storms to occur in the afternoon to the early evening time frame winds up to gust up to 19 miles per hour temperatures in the 50s and 60s and then for the eastern highlands we've got 40s for the Wyoming side and 50s for the Idaho side Island Park at 53 and Driggs and Dubois have a high of 51 one degrees tonight for the Snake River Plain staying with uh, some breezy conditions temperatures will be in the 30s and 40s now our low temperatures are also above average for this time of year so the warming trend affects not only high temperature but low temperature as well southeast highlands temperatures will be in the 30s and 41 for Ankum and Preston for the central mountains temperatures will be in the 30s and then for the eastern highlands we've got 20s for Wyoming and the low 30s for the Idaho side so some areas still getting below freezing for this uh, overnight for the overnight hour snake river plain tomorrow staying with gusty winds up to 24 miles per hour and this time we'll be in the 70s so we're going to be hanging around room temperature tomorrow room temperature is anywhere between 68 and 72 degrees usually around 70 degrees southeast highlands tomorrow will be in the 60s, 71 for Preston and Downey, and then for the Central Mountains, 60s and 70s as well. While 70 is only for Salmon, the rest are in the 60s. Eastern Highlands, we've got 50s for the Wyoming side and 60s for the Idaho side, 59 for Du Bois. Now here's the Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. Pocatello, a high temperature of 65 today, getting into the 70s into the weekend, and then we'll be shoved back down with our high temperature after after Saturday, after Saturday occurs. And then also again on Tuesday, we have a low pressure system that's going to affect us on Tuesday, giving us the chance for some snow flurries. Now it's not gonna amount to much because our temperatures do stay warm. However, with that disturbance, we will see some uh, precipitation come out of this. Idaho Falls today, 64 degrees, 72 for the next couple of days, and then bumping down to 66 afterward. Central Mountains today, a high temperature of 61, getting up to 66 for Saturday. And then for the Teton area, today has a high temperature of 51. Back to you, Deanne.